Happy travel day to everybody. Happy travel day. We are at Manchester Airport and it's very early in the morning. It is approximately, I'm going to check my watch now, the timing. It's just 10 past two. And we've got here extra early because of all the hysteria regarding how busy the airport is. <laughs> so we've got here really early, but the gate doesn't open till three. We can't check in. So me and Sarah have just been and grabbed a coffee while Christy awaits us over there. So I'm just going to show you now how empty it is. Yeah, so the airport's really empty, but you've seen on the news that everybody's saying how horrendous it is to get through. So we've got here super early. We've got here four hours before, but the only problem is, is um, checking desk don't open until three, so we've got about an hour. Can I really correct you, Dad? It's cool. twenty past. All right, okay, it's twenty past. <laughs> so we'll go meet Christy over there and we'll get this travel day started. So we were just saying that it's a good job we got here early because look at the queue now. The queue is absolutely massive. So with regards to the queue, it's not actually that big. We've got through quite quickly, haven't we, Christy? And obviously Christy's saying hello for the first time. So I just thought I'd show you quickly, but I'm gonna put the camera away because I don't think you're supposed to really film around here. Well, I don't know if we've just been lucky, but it's only took 10 minutes to get through. Everything, isn't it? Security. Yeah. So we arrived an hour earlier than what the actual checking desk opened, so we had a bit of a wait, but thankfully we got there early because the queue, by the time we were checking in, was like a mile long. So yeah. it took us from actually checking in to getting through security 10 minutes. So it's been absolutely fine. So anyone worrying about Manchester Airport, don't worry. Well, just get there early. Yeah, just get here early. So we're going to head to the departures lounge now, get something to eat and we'll take you guys with us. Do you want to head to first then? Now we're here. I guess. WH Smith. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you want to get from WH Smith's? <laughs> so we're heading to WH Smith to buy stuff that we necessarily probably don't need. We need it. <laughs> Due to the fact we've travelled so much recently as well, there's definitely no need for Christy. My, uh, there's definitely no need for you to get anything, Christy, from here. Mascara. Yeah, I was going to say because we come here so often, we've been here a lot recently, haven't we? Seven holiday. Christy doesn't need anything, but she always tends to need to buy something. I think she's got an obsession with buying stuff. What do you think, Zeb? I she loves She loves wasting money, you mean? <laughs> Christy, what do you say to the best husband in the world for buying you some new sunglasses? Thanks. So every time we go somewhere, she always ends up getting something, doesn't she, Zeb? <laughs> every time. <laughs> some glasses that she doesn't necessarily need. And those of me and you were doing without her. All I get is uh, like a chocolate bar and that's it. I'm what about some M&M's? Yeah. <laughs> all I get and, I, and I'm like, and I'm done. I, and I've got all the so that's it. I know. Mummy gets like fans. <laughs> she gets whatever she wants. Hello, hello. Oh, here he is, Policeman Seb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Policeman Seb. <laughs> Just a heads up for anybody. When you get here as early as we have today, Nothing actually opens till 4am. The WH Smith's open, but all the restaurants and places to eat are not open till 4. We're just waiting for something to get, get something to eat now, aren't we? I think because we got here so early and it was so quick to get through, we were expecting delays, weren't we? Yeah, so we've got plenty of time now. But it's hard. Another quarter of an hour. And yeah. To get we'll get a Fancy a full breakfast. Yeah, I do. Seb's filling himself up on uh, sweets here. Yeah, big bag of Haribo, five ninety nine from W H Smith. I don't know if the camera will actually pick this up, but as you can see there, there's actually been three of the two week flights cancelled as we're uh, sat waiting. So there's going to be some uh, absolutely cutting people here. Just thought I'd show you because obviously there is flights being cancelled. As it nears four o'clock, the stampede is going to begin at uh, pret a manger or as Andrew calls it, pret a manga. 
<laughs> That's what he calls it. He said it's called Fretamanga. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to go there. Like Christy said last time, it's really nice. A little bit expensive, yeah, but it's nice, isn't it? So I think we'll go there, so we'll show you what we get. Hot kettle black has not happened due to the fact they've stopped doing full breaths, haven't they? Yeah, last time we came, well, when we went there at um, New Year, we both had a full breakfast, didn't we? And we said it was nice, it was just a bit expensive. We're going to head upstairs and see if there's a place here called Amber Ale House. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not focusing there. See if they do a full breakfast. Yeah, we'll see if, if any one of these up here do it. We've ended up leaving um, the top section. It's absolutely rammed. The Bridgewater Exchange, I think the queue's about an hour. So we're gonna leave that and we're just gonna come back down and probably go to W.A. Smith and try and get a sandwich or something where we originally started. We're nearly ready to board now, aren't we? Yeah. It is, what time do you know, about half five? 5.21 5.21 and they started boarding so it looks like we should be leaving on time, doesn't it? I think it's crashed, yeah. It should be. I will uh, show you the when we get on the plane then what, uh, what it's like. But I said to Christy the other day we were looking at trying to get one of Seb's friends maybe on the holiday, wasn't we? Yeah, but the flight completely sold out. So, so I think it'll be a full flight, but we'll show you as soon as we get on. And we're finally getting on the plane. What I can't wait for is to feel that heat when we get in Tenerife. We've got a little four hour flight and Christy's uh, already stood at the bottom waiting. So we're all on the plane now and we're ready to go, aren't we? A lovely man just went to uh, swap seats. We're, we're all separated, weren't we, Christy? Yeah. So we're uh, all on the same road together now. You and I both had uh, an aisle seat and Seb was on this one. But uh, the gentleman that was sat next to us said, swap the guys, so that was good. Yeah, so we're all swapped and we're on our way. As you can see now, people are just uh, getting on the plane and I think we should be set to depart at 6 o'clock as, as planned, yeah. And then we should arrive at Tenerife just after 10 o'clock, shouldn't we? So we're a few hours in now, and the uh, flight's been all right, hasn't it? I would like a little sleep, haven't we? Yeah. Guess what? What? What's the worst thing? <laughs> the, what, what is the worst thing? So we sat right near the toilet, and we're a bit stinky. And I'm the well, apart from that, it's been a good flight, yeah, hasn't it? Fine, yeah. And uh, behind me, there's like, a, there's been a, probably a kid jumping, you know, these little like trains, they yeah, just missed dropping it. And it's meant to be a couple of times, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah, and it's been it's been a decent flight, hasn't it? But in a minute, Seb's gonna buy something from the duty free out here. What are you gonna buy? The turtle. What if it's still the seal? No, come on. Yeah. So we'll show you what he buys, and then we're due to land in about an hour, aren't we? Is that it? Yeah, in about an hour. She's checking now. No, oh, about two hours. Guys. Well, what time is it now? We're five minutes late. Was we? I didn't even realise because I was asleep. So we're, we're due to land in about an hour and a half then, would you say? Two hours. Two hours, right, okay. Right, well, Seb's going to enjoy doing his uh, word search and we'll catch up with you in a little while.
finally here. We saw a lot of Seb's with us because we had a little queue for uh, people with children. So we got right to the front, haven't we? Last time we came, it was after it way around. The yeah. queue for like just adults was, was quicker, so bonus this time. Yeah, so we're very glad you're here, Seb. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so here's my greatest helper. Always helps me to get the cases off, don't you, Seb? Yeah. You keeping your eye out? Keep your eye out. We need to keep our eye over the cases. We need your muscles, don't we? Has he got the muscles? Has is he, he gonna get it? Muscles? Do you know which one it is, Seb? Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Is he's he gonna, gonna get, get it? it? Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Has he got the muscles? Has he got the oh, muscles? Oh, he's got the muscles. All oh, right. Look at the coolness. Look at the <laughs> right, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's rock and roll, let's go and get that coach, yeah. So we've just got in the coach, um, it's now 5 past 12, it took us 40 minutes to depart, well we were like, we delayed by 40 minutes to depart in Manchester, but we made that up, so we landed 25 minutes late, um, so we got through security, passport control and all that, and then our case has actually took quite a while to come off, didn't they? But we're on now and we'll show you when we get to the hotel. Peace out, Seb. And just like that, we're back at Park La Paz. Seb, you excited to be back? You excited, Christy? So excited. It's just like a second home for us, isn't it, brother? So let's see, let's get our uh, yeah. So let's get ourselves checked in now. So just uh, as we're in the lift, they've got some uh, supplementary room upgrades within the hotel, and I just thought I'd show you the uh, prices in case anyone's coming here and wants to upgrade. And we're here, back at our favourite hotel. hotel. Well, uh, Christy's all excited. Yeah. We're here. We're here, oh, and we've got a pool view. Pool view. We're here. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's so good to be back. It's like, Let's go get our swing costumes on. <laughs> so yeah, we're back. Before we wreck the joint, we've made a decision just to give you a quick room tour. This will be on the travel day video. We've got one Seb in the shower. I need a shower. <laughs> but as you can see, it's lovely. Nice. It's really nice. It's nice and clean. Fresh. It's nice and clean. And as Christy's already mentioned, she's really excited because we've got a pool view. So you can see we've got two twin beds. Um, there is a safe in there, I'm sure. We rented the safe, how much was the safe, Christy? 7 but we're only here for four days. So what is it, two, two euros fifty per day? It must be, yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. So there's the safe, obviously. This is the, the view we've got. I think we've uh, hit a Brucey bonus for this, this room, it's great. Really is good. What a view. And I'll just spin you around and show you the... Balcony, it's like a double balcony. Yes, yeah, so we've got a double balcony. So you can, you can go into uh, the living room area or the bedroom. Is it open or is it locked? I think it might be locked. It's locked. locked. So I'll spin you back around and show you the living room. And then I think we'll sign this travel day vlog off. As you can see, we've lined the shoes up nice and neatly. So, this is the... Main living area. Which the sofa turns into a bed for Seb. Yeah, which Seb will sleep on. His pillow's been popped on top. But no, we really, really like it here at Park La Paz, don't we, Christy? Honestly, I know we always rave about it, but for me, value for money, location, um, it's modern, the rooms are nice, we love the pool area, it just ticks every box for, for us personally. For us, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah. Great. If you fancy staying here, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. And obviously keep watching because we're going to have many more videos around the pool and stuff. One thing I just want to mention before you, you sign off. Last time we stayed here was at New Year and they didn't have a kettle, a toaster or a coffee machine in the room which the, they now have. And I've also noticed, I don't know if it's just this particular room, but the beds have been upgraded. Ooh. They look more comfortable. And they are more comfortable. Yeah. How do you know? Oh. He's already done this. Uh, do you want to just do a little test. test before we go? One. Do a little test. <laughs> so thanks for watching the video. 
don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching for more content. From me and Seb, it's a goodbye and we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. Be incredible.